guys, what's up? And this is Baker. This is the New York City blog that you have asked for. I asked you in the Emma's Elite video, did you want me to do a video? If we hit 40 likes, then I would do it. And I we think we're currently on 50, which is absolutely amazing. You've absolutely smashed that. If you keep the likes coming, that would be fucking awesome, boys. I've already recorded this video once, but I thought it was so boring. I just want to mix it up, just leave you the highlights. I'm not going to make this long, because the last one was like 40 minutes, and I thought, fuck that shit, I'm going to make this interesting. So, guys, without any further ado, let's go. Boom! Like I said, I'm going to do this really quick, so I'm going to add the details that I needed. So, day one, travelled down to London, went with my girlfriend, Lauren, met her sister and her friend who we were going with. So, there was four of us going, boom, New York City. Oh, yeah, got on a plane seven hours later, we were there, yeah! Because they're five hours behind, that meant that we had the whole day to ourselves, so we went to the Rockefeller Center, which is where you go in a big fuck-off lift up to the top, look out of New York City, and you can see everything, the Chrysler Building, the Empire State, boom. Later that day, we went to a theatre production called Sleep No More, which is by a theatre company called Punch Drunk. If you haven't seen them, check them out. They are amazing. Basically, you get to an old hotel, go to five floors, walk about, do what you want. You get given one of these bad boy masks. Booyah! You walk about with that, actors are going around, based on Macbeth, just people running about, naked people, orgies, shit going down. <laughs> it's amazing. Definitely check it out. I'll just look at some reviews and see what you think. So after a few drinks after that, that was the end of day one. I'm getting on to day two now. Day two, we went to the 9-11 memorial and it was a very sad experience. It was quite eerie, but it was nice at the same time because the memorial's beautiful. There's two like waterfalls with all the names of the deceased around the outside. And it was, it was really nice, but it just reminded you of what happened and it sort of dampened the mood a little bit. So we had to go and cheer ourselves up. So we got a boat from Staten Island to see the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, that's right, the green bitch, blue bitch, whatever colour she is. We went to go see her, got a couple of pictures. Booyah! Day three and it was time for the piss up day. We had one day solely for drinking, except for the morning where we went to do a bit of shopping. Went to Toys R Us and they had a Ferris wheel. A fucking Ferris wheel. And it had three stories, the best toy store I've ever seen. Incredible, amazing. And then we got to the boozy part. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, went for a boozy brunch, basically meant we got champagne for free for two hours, so we got on it. Then we went out after in Manhattan, got just totally wrecked. It was incredible. So we have to get back to our hotel at nine at night, planning on going out in Brooklyn, getting a pizza, falling asleep, waking up at one in the morning. We decided to go that day and night, so we got ready for day four. Our day four was the day I took my girlfriend Lauren on the Sex and the City tour. I wasn't know what to expect and it was a bit... Uh, before, but I'll tell you what, it wasn't too bad. Got a free cupcake and a couple of drinks and stuff, and uh, it wasn't bad at all. But it led up to the main event for me. This was the basketball. Yes, as you can tell, Brooklyn. We went to go watch the Brooklyn Nets. My boy, Joe Johnson. Right, before this, I'd never seen basketball before in my life. I thought as a kid that I was a big Lakers fan, even though I'd never watched a game in my life. And I, I, I fantasized, fantasized, wow, okay. This is getting creepy. I thought that Gasol was the best player in basketball. I don't know why, I just picked a random guy, never seen him play and just thought, yeah, he's good. So <laughs> we went to go watch the Brooklyn Nets against the Sacramento Kings. They ended up winning and it was just a great experience for me. It's weird seeing how basketball fans are. It's just so such a friendly atmosphere. And there's party cams, eight year old men dancing about and then there's the half, half time $10,000 shot. It was just incredible, a nice eye-opening experience. The so day five was our last day in New York City, so we had to go all guns blazing, went to a typical American diner, and got the biggest breakfast you could want. A lumberjack it was called. You had pancakes, egg, ham, bacon, sausage, bacon, sausage, ham, bacon, sausage, bacon, egg, sausage, more bacon, and a shit ton of syrup. It was fucking incredible! So after that sugar rush, we decided just to have a walk around, go to the NBA store, and then catch our flight home to England, where everybody is so happy here. Yeah, as you can tell, I was taking the piss. Everyone in America seemed so friendly. It was just a, a totally different experience. I'd been to Florida before, but New York was absolutely incredible. I'd just love to do it again sometime soon. So, guys, I hope I've kept this short and sweet. I hope you did like it. This is the first vlog I've done, so it might be a little bit dodgy, but... Anyway, guys, if you did like it, please be sure to leave a like. If you'd like another vlog like this, just leave a comment down below and uh, we'll probably do something in the future. But as I said, peace out.